Well, okay, so if this worked, you're here now, and we're going to jump right into our happy share. We begin every week with a happy share. See, we have a habit, most people, many, many people, far too many people, have the habit of looking for what's wrong in their life, of looking for what's missing, of looking for what's lacking. And there's this huge thought form out there of lack. Well, because it's so big, people who don't think, which is 95% of people, buy right into it. And so it spreads bigger and bigger and bigger. That's why so many people who think that they don't have and can't have and don't deserve. So by focusing on things that make you feel good, things that leave you feeling at peace, calm, with a smile, not just on your face, but in your heart, that's what a happy share is. And I have a pretty wonderful happy share this week. I have lots of them. And this one is, last night I was working on my computer, and I'd been having problems the last few days with it. In fact, I, I was thinking about pitching a tent outside the Apple store because I was going there every day. Thank goodness it's not far away. Anyway, my happy share is, last night my computer did a major crash. The last time that happened, I had a PC. The blue screen came up, and when it happened, was a hard disk had fried, and I got really, really scared. Fortunately, I don't let myself get too upset for more than a couple minutes, and I realized whatever it is, I have my whole computer system backed up. It was too late to get into the store. It was too late to get an appointment. It was too late to do anything about it last night, so I had to wait until this morning, and I went into the store really not knowing what was going to happen, and the technician, the very, very brilliant, gifted technician, brought the system up like that, knew what to do. We checked. We ran through everything, everything that didn't look quite right, now looks great. That's a pretty big happy share for me because the last thing I wanted to do was go buy a new computer. I really like my computer and everything that's on it. So what made you happy this week? Go on down. When you hit reply and fill it in, you know what? Because your mind can't tell the difference between what's real and what's imagined, you get to live those feelings all over again, which means all of that really great chemistry gets released in your body. Now, this week, I get to be the minstrel minister. Okay, by the way, did you see this? I have rose bushes outside my front door. Look how big this is. Can you see how big it is? The bushes out there give me roses that are red, orange, pink, white. It's just extraordinary, and I have this ongoing, I don't know how long it will be going on, I haven't lived in a house with such beautiful rose bushes since I was a little kid. And I love them and I bring them in and I dry them so I have rose petals to leave a fragrance in my home. Gee, that could have been my happy share too. You know, when you start looking for happy shares, you find lots of them. Okay, now what I told you was being the minstrel minister this week, I have a question for you. Do you have something to heal? Take a moment, go inside, see how you feel. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, is anything amiss? If you're not living in bliss, something's out of kilter. Have you been remiss about taking care of you? Are you on track to do what you came here to do? To learn the lesson so your soul evolves to fulfill your purpose in life. To realize your deep desires to change a life. To what do you aspire? Raise your frequency higher. Change the planet. Make a difference for you. When you do, others will change too. But nothing will work unless you first take care to make the connection with you the true you. Not talking about that chatter in your head. Not referring to your belief systems. Otherwise known as your BS. Your ego seeks to keep you less than what you came here to be. In 
that it will keep you stuck in the muck of your comfort zone, afraid to step out on your own and connect, connect to the true you. Discover all about the most important person you. Do you love you? I surely hope you do love you. See, you came here for a reason. Now here's how to tell if you're living on purpose. How do you feel in your heart? Are you happy? Are you anxious to get up every morning and pop out of bed and get to doing your passion? Is your body healthy? Are you emotionally balanced and feeling on an even keel? If you answer no to any of those, it's because you are not in touch with your spirit, which is also your soul, also called your higher self. You are not in touch with the purpose that you came here in this lifetime. You came here to learn some very specific lessons and you came here to fulfill on a purpose that impacts all of humanity. Now that could be something like maybe you have a great smile and you light up a room. Or maybe you're a researcher and you're going to discover something really incredible that lets people work with all the electronics in their house and still stay healthy. I don't know what you came here to do. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But what I can tell you is until you feel fantastic, until you're really living in the bliss, if there's anything going on bothering you, especially if it's on the left side of your body, you have a spiritual disconnect. So if you want to learn more about what I'm talking about, scroll on down. Ask me a question. That's why I'm here. I want to help you grow and answer the questions you have about your spirituality because who you are is a whole and perfect divine spirit living a human experience. In our sanctuary. Whoa, wait a minute. I forgot something really important. Did you notice I was talking about knowing the true you rather than who you believe yourself to be, your belief systems? Look at the word belief. B-E-L-I-E-F. It contains the word lie. Well, it's because your beliefs are lying to you. Your beliefs aren't even your beliefs. Your beliefs happen when you were a little kid because up until the age of seven, you didn't have the capacity, you didn't have the ability to filter out what people were telling you. So you took on the beliefs of your parents, of your siblings, of whoever was taking care of you, of your teachers. And those voices play in your head and they're tapes and you think they're your beliefs and you're probably passing on your beliefs to your kids, to your friends, to others in your world. But they're just things that you made up or somebody else made up and you bought into. Here's how to know when it's a belief because it's a lie because when you think about it, you feel an emotion. An emotion is a reaction. Reactions happen without thought, without consideration of any kind. On the other hand, feelings that lead you into action that are always in your highest and best interest, those come directly from your spirit. That's why you know when you're working in conjunction with what your spirit came here to achieve, you're not feeling upset. You're not having any specific emotions driving your behavior, controlling you. And that little voice, it's not chattering. It's not yelling at you. In fact, I call it a commentator. It's not even making commentary on everything going on in your life because you're hearing your perfect, accurate messages from your spirit. We'll talk about that more because this is a spiritual ministry. So, if you have any questions, once again, go on down below, ask your questions. If you have something to share on that subject, please, please do share with us. In our sanctuary is a tree of life, and on the tree of life are names of people, of pets. And every day I say a very special blessing. I never ever miss a day. I've been doing this for years. 
And in that special blessing, I'm remembering, I'm recognizing the fact that we are all one, that we are all connected. So when I say the special blessing every day, because I'm saying that the energy that's going through me is connecting to the other person, not down the road, not a few minutes later, not a few seconds later, but immediately. So the healing that happens in me happens for the other person. And healing doesn't always mean returning to how things used to be. Sometimes healing means being okay with the changes that have happened. Healing is accepting yourself as you are. And that doesn't mean you can't change. We also have a practice that you'll see if you're watching this on the website. If you look up there, you'll see a page, and it's called Holding a Space For. Now, holding a space for is different from prayer. Prayer is about expressing gratitude for all the wonderful things that you have in your life. And when you look for them, you'll see them. And that's a lot of what a happy share is about, because you get wonderful gifts every day. If you're not looking for him, you won't see him. Holding a space for is when somebody wants to manifest something in their world. And it might be an opportunity to go someplace they've never been, or to live in a house they've never lived in, meeting a new friend. It might be a new job. It might be getting a new bike. It could be anything that you don't have in your life now that you want, and it has to be in your world. You cannot manifest in somebody else's world. If there's something you know somebody else wants, get their permission, and you know what? Send them to this page, and just tell them, scroll on down there, fill in a comment, let us know, and when it's down there, everybody will see it down there, and also, everybody will see it up there on the page. Come back at least once a week, read through the names and what people want you to hold the space for and just take a moment to make that connection for you. You don't have to know who they are or what they look like or where they live. You don't have to know anything about them because their name and what they want, the universe knows and the more people holding the space for them to make that real in their world, the sooner it's going to happen if it's right for them and if they're ready and when they're ready to be the person who can live that way. Again, I'm so glad that you joined me here today. Please scroll on down and share this with your friends on whatever of the different media that you use. Get the word out. People don't need to live in misery. That's not how things are meant to be for any of us. And the world is a rich place to experience. Enjoy a wonderful, blessed week. I will see you here next week.